Hey guys, Coach Sam here. I'm joined with uh, Bex, and today we're going to talk to you a little bit more about the, the Gar Hammer Raise, uh, why it's such a good exercise, uh, where it's originated from, and um, a few common faults that people often do um, when it comes to you know, executing it properly within the, um, the program. So the Gar Hammer Raise is an abdominal exercise, mainly for the rectus abdominis, um, and it was popularized by uh, PhD Dr. John Gar Hammer, um, and Charles Poliquin, you know, later on, made it, you know, a world-renowned exercise for the, for the core. Okay, so it's different ways of doing it. It's a body weight exercise, so it's not an exercise that you can add load with. So in terms of progression, we need to progress the leverage of the movement and also the repetitions of the movement. So in terms of your progressive overload, adding more reps is going to be um, one way we can progress the movement or increasing the height of the incline that the... Um, the bench that uh, the Gar Hammer Raise is done on is used. So flat is easier. So Bex is going to demonstrate now uh, on flat and we'll try and take you all the way up so, so you can see how hard they can get. So the most important thing is when you get locked in, um, a lot of people when they do it, they do it backwards, they hold onto the seat and the seat obviously moves. All right, so make sure you're using the bench um, properly. The second thing that you want to do, you might want to come up to see this, is when you bring the knees into the chest, yeah, we want to make sure there's a 90 degree angle. But what, what you want to make sure is the knees are apart and the, the feet are together. So you're going to try and push the feet together, but not the knees. You want the knees apart. What that does is it takes the hip flexors out. Okay, whenever we do um, a knee-based movement, anything like this, it's very much hip flexor dominant. But we want to make sure we got as much focus as possible on the, um, on the abdominal muscles, okay, and not the hip flexors. So Bex is going to go back into that 90 degree thing. Yep, that position. Perfect 90 degree angle. All right, this is where we start every single rep. What you'll find is when people get tired is they have a little swing. Ooh, yeah, all right. And we don't want, um, we don't want that to happen. Every rep is going to start here. So Bex is going to hold herself in nice and tight. She's bracing tight. All oh, this is nice and solid. Now she's going to bring the knees as close to the elbows as possible. Mid tricep is okay, but ideally we want top of the elbows. So Bex is going to go for that. Good, and then down for three, two, one, and her start position, that's it, and again. Good, three, two, one. She's getting to that 90 degree angle every time. Good, she's gonna do two more, and as you can see, the technique is, is perfect. Her knees are staying um, about four to six inches apart, and her feet are together, and that's, that's perfect. So that's the gar hammer raise on the flat. So Bex have a little rest now. Um, so once she gets to doing sets of 10 to 12, we could go higher, 12 to 15. I've, I've done gar hammers with 20 to 25 reps in the past, and it's, it's really difficult. But the more sensible thing to do is when you can get the 12 to 15 reps is increase the incline. So Bex is going to show us now how much harder the incline is. Okay, so lock yourself in again. So elbows in nice and tight. Again, she needs to make sure she's starting at 90 degrees. There's a tendency to swing. It's the biggest fault we see with the gar hammer raise. Now she's going to try and drive these, out, these knees towards the triceps. Let's go. Up. Now slowly down. Three, two, one. Three, two, one. Last one. Three, two, one. Rest. Okay, so you've seen that technique was, um, was perfect. Okay, so the higher the angle, guys, with the gar hammer raise, the harder it is. Okay, so let's see how Bex gets on with the 30 degree. All right. Yeah, so we're looking for those technical faults, okay? We're only going to do three reps. This is a harder variation. But again, knees up. This is where it does get difficult. Up we go. Yeah, she has to start there. That's the start position. We don't want to have it kicking up, okay? So there we go. Feet together, knees apart. She's going to try and brace the abdominal wall. Get those knees to the elbows. Good, perfect. She's strong. Down we go. Just to there, and then she goes back in. Two, okay, you see she's struggling even after two reps. And again, go. Good, three, okay, so you can see that's, uh, that's really hard for Bex. We, we will have some fun and games and we'll put it on a 45 degree just to see how, how difficult it is. This is the most advanced version and when you get to this level, you can progress, so just follow me here. This is when you can go into a, yeah, a hammer raise that starts hanging there and then we're going up. Just to there. So the hanging version is the hardest. Okay, so they can be done like that as well. But let's, let's show you the 45 degree. Yeah, this is the most advanced version you'll do on an incline. And if you could do eight to 10 reps of these, you're really good. That's it. Go. 
Go. Crunch the abdominal wall. Good. Perfect. Down slowly. Chest to there and back in. Okay, so I'm, I'm going to allow Bex to do a few reps now. Cheat in. So cheat a few reps. We'll drop you down one. So just drop it down. So show us what bad form looks like. So swing into it. So she's, look at the legs now. She's swinging in. She's using her quads. She's using her hip flexors. She's using momentum. She's not sticking to the tempo. So guys, in regards to the Gahama race, I have to put an angle on the app for you. Okay, I think I've put 30 degrees for this, this phase, which is tough. If 30 degrees is too, hot, too, too aggressive, just drop it down to a 15 or a flat. That's absolutely fine. You can change it on the app. You can substitute the exercise on there for you. If you find it, the 30 degrees is too easy, but feel free to add more repetitions or go on to a 45 degree incline or even try the hanging ones if you've been doing these for a while. Let, let's just go through the progressions if I was you and, and build up the, the incline over the course of your SOS membership. Let's try and get you all under the 35, 30 degree or the 45 degree over the next uh, six to eight months. No swinging, no hip flexors involved, feet together, knees apart, stick to the tempo. It's a tough one because you're doing an isometric contraction in this particular phase, 30 second holes into 10 reps. So I have been nasty, which is why we need to make sure the angle is, is appropriate for you. Any questions on the Garhammer raise, guys, feel free to comment and uh, yeah, let us know. Thanks for watching.